GE installed its first six right gas um, six V gas turbine in Kenya in 1987 and today 12 African countries utilize this technology which produces power in a wide range of applications such as electric power generation, oil and gas processing, the mining industry, the petrochemical industry and oil and gas exploration and extraction as well. Tim Schweikert, CEO and President of GE South Africa joins us now for a look at Africa's power sector at large and the role it's playing within it. Thanks so much Tim for joining us this afternoon. Afternoon. Well, uh, GE about finding solutions in energy and uh, you know providing customers with a broader way array of uh, power generation products specifically. What's your reading of the situation that we face in Africa right now? We, we think it's a, um, a tremendous opportunity. It's also a, a tremendous challenge um, in terms of power. When you look throughout the continent, there's about uh, 600 million people that don't have access to electricity on a daily basis. So. We see that as, as a, great, uh, a great opportunity. Um, GE is for, uh, first and foremost a technology company, and uh, so we invest about $6, million, uh, $6 billion a year uh, in research and development. A lot of that goes towards power generation equipment, and we've got a suite of products that goes from very small generators all the way up to 500 megawatt uh, uh, power stations, or, or power generators. When we look at Africa, we think that Africa is somewhat of a unique market, um, and, and there's two, two opportunities. One, um, unlike some of the more developed markets, we see, it, uh, we see distributed power uh, being a significant part of that solution. So or distributed power meaning that uh, smaller generators and electricity being generated closer to users. Mm -hmm. Um, and also an important part of uh, the distributor power equation is being able to plug in renewable energy. So GE is also into, uh, into uh, wind energy as well as uh, natural gas uh, turbines. Tim, it's Lindsay in Cape Town. Thanks for joining us. Um, you've sort of answered my question in certain ways. How difficult, or rather how different is it to operate in Africa to other of your geographies? I mean, GE, a truly global company, but also within Africa. I mean, you, you might need um, a completely different power solution in Rwanda to Angola to South Africa. I mean, you may be part of the grid in, uh, in the future, the Eskom grid in the future. Um, but it, there must be all sorts of different problems. How do you manage that? I mean, is your base in South Africa and you fan out from there? What's the story? Uh, you, you, Lindsay, you make a great point, and you're exactly right. It's a very, it's a very differentiated uh, market when it comes to the needs of Africa. So as you said, in ESCOM, you, you typically have uh, large centralized uh, power stations. Uh, when you go into places like Angola, they're using diesel, uh, diesel power generator sets that are, are powering you know, an area as small as a couple uh, city blocks. So the way we attack that problem is that we have teams throughout, uh, throughout the continent. So I'm based here in Johannesburg, uh, but we have a large team in Nigeria, which is a huge uh, uh, power generation market uh, where there's 180 uh, million people uh, that have a strong demand for electricity. Um, we, have a, um, we have a significant team in Kenya, and we're building a, a, um, a significant team in Angola as well. So, uh, you're absolutely right. It takes a tailored approach, not only from a technology uh, point of view, but also from the point of view of how we go to market, how we engage um, local partners, how we engage uh, the local governments. And how you price these products as well. I mean, uh, when it comes to a tailored approach, how does that influence uh, the affordability of these products in the various territories you're, you're present in? Well, you, that, that's another great point. Uh, you have to... Um, uh, you have to be able to meet the market market price in terms of um, in terms of being competitive. So, uh, and African countries, you know, are are often not countries that have uh, can afford very high tariffs. So, one of the things going back to our technology investment again is we feel that our strong suit is uh, our technology is largely focused on fuel efficiency as well as um, uh, lower emissions and overall life cycle uh, cost, reducing the overall life cycle cost of the, uh, uh, of, uh, the power generation equipment. So we, we try to take a holistic approach to that, starting with the best technology, but then also bringing in the services because we feel with our, uh, our, our intimate knowledge of the technology and what we, what we are doing now with, um, in terms of uh, what we call uh, our diagnostic capability on the equipment so that we can constantly monitor 
the equipment to know what the best service approach is to maintain uh, the most economic, uh, most reliable uh, cost on, on power generation equipment. We think that's the best approach that, that ultimately leads to a lower price for the customer. Tim, let's talk about uh, development of a, of a community, development of a country, development of the African continent now, if you would. Of course, you need to make money. GE has to make money. It's got shareholders, and that's what you're in the business for. But you're also in the business of development. We talk a lot about availability of water and political freedom and education in Africa. How important, in your experience, is a reliable and relatively affordable power supply for the development of a region? Well, I think it's critical to, um, to Africa's development. When you look at well, what GE is so excited about uh, Africa is it's got two components that, that we love in markets. One, it's got a growing population. And secondly, it is a very rich nation in terms of, uh, in terms of minerals and, and natural resources. The key to unlocking that wealth so that the value can be delivered to the, um, the vastly uh, uh, or quickly growing population here in Africa is delivering on some of these infrastructure solutions. We talked about power generation. We're also very active on uh, rail transportation, um, which throughout most of the countries through Africa, getting those minerals to market, getting those minerals to port is critical. And so we invest a lot in rail transportation technology to help with that problem. Uh, aviation, um, GE is a leader in terms of the um, most fuel efficient uh, jet engines uh, in the world, uh, as well as lowest emissions. Uh, what many of the airlines in Africa are finding that having that latest technology in terms of uh, equipment is critical to controlling their costs and being successful, which ultimately will lead to uh, uh, more service for uh, for the for uh, customers here in Africa, so we we feel that uh, as you said we're we're interested obviously in making money for our shareholders, but we also feel that we play a vital role in terms of moving, powering, curing, and building is kind of our our four words that we use as a motto in terms of our purpose, our objective as a company.